We had a couple more accidental Riz, ASMR Riz, Sick Riz, and Yamata is ready to just take this kid and just mm, devour him. But it's like, when is that going to happen? I'm waiting for her to like, there needs to be a significant move. And we're nearing the finale, right? This is still episode 9. We got like, what, 9, 10, 11, 12, 4 episodes. I hope it comes to, comes, comes to some kind of crazy climax as we go into season 2. Let's begin today's reaction. Oh, that po most popular kid at school, remember? It all start. Where did that guy go? I just realized. Do you remember that, dudes? No, 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 there was two separate dudes. There was... Fuck, am I getting these? No, 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 that's a Roshidere. Roshidere, there was a really popular guy that got rejected immediately. There was another guy here, though. Remember that guy? Um, that, got the one that we threw our fucking bike? What happened to that dude? I thought he'd be kind of important, because he low-key was like a decent person. Then he just disappeared. I, partake in line. Yeah, 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 come on. Come on, let's go. What the fuck is that? It's a praying mantis cat. You you these stickers? That's cute to you? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I'm, I'm good. <laughs> Rejected! Oh, nice excuse. Do not invite Arachi! No! Uh, you know Arachi's gonna fucking squeeze, fucking squeeze himself into this group chat. ポスケボあったな。あ、そうだ。情報処理部あるの?思う。いや、俺が誘われてないだけであるかも。だ、ウィソサ。<笑><笑> Oh shit. Or nine days out for Christmas. Christmas Day. Yo, this could be the moment. Is it would be I don't know how long this Christmas arc is gonna go for. It, it would be cool if the next four episodes was like a big arc of like Christmas into New Year's as a I don't know, and like they officially go out or something. Like, okay, something big is about to happen. Ah, そう。もう、そこは終わって言ってるだけじゃダメなのは分かってる。具体的に行動を起こす。あの、who <笑> Fucking hard right now because he doesn't understand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why is that the level 99? Wait, each cow is a slime in this example? Damn. And Yamada is obviously like the level 99 fucking cracked hero. <laughs> You're a slime, bro. Zaku. <laughs> That was that easy? Uh, 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 yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, I'm getting cocked! Oh, no! Yo, ain't that the ReZero girl? Hold the fuck up! Ain't that straight up the ReZero girl? There's the fucking the blue hair and the red hair fucking maid girls, right? Yeah, we saw it on that shit on the trailer. The fuck? Alright, interesting ReZero fucking reference. Oh, icon ReZero no Remu Jan! They're just straight up saying it. I, I guess you can just... Well, before, they said like 1P, you know, attack on... You know, they didn't finish it. They did say Baki. But like, okay, you can just refer to it. I thought there were some issues with like copyright or something. Over Rem. We'll remember this. Ram, better in Rem. Who's better? Blue hair girl, or red hair girl. I don't know. We'll see in about three weeks, I'd say. <laughs> what was that death glare at? Who was it directed to? Because that line is straight up. The eyesight is not directed at Moe. 
It's directed at Iska right now, right? I mean, it well, look at it, right? Like, she's pissed that she, you know, her friend got the line from Iska first, so maybe she's like, damn, you really gave her that easily, even though I was trying so hard back then. Hmm? He folded, bro. All it took was, hey, Ichi, give me your line. It's like, okay. Who's the higher ups in this room? <laughs> you tell me this is the most Ikemen person in this class? Ishimuro? First time I'm hearing his ass. Track team ace and smart. Oh, really? Oh, you bitch. Oh, it's so toxic, dude. Girls sometimes do this shit to make you jealous to see if you're gonna do something about it. It's just so toxic. Like, you really gotta do this right now? No, not like that. No, I don't think it's that close. <laughs> make a move. You need to stand up right now. Prevent this from happening. You need to fucking make a move right now, Itsukawa. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah, you do! Huh? <gasps> Just realized? <sighs> they're grade 8, they're grade 9, they're just dumb 14 year old kids. They're just dumb kids. I know it. It's just pains. Ah! <laughs> what? Uh Oh, Yamada's happy. He made a move. <laughs> She's trying to just call us a fucking weirdo. It's like, I knew that too. That's fucking weird. <laughs> oh. Never mind. Oh, oh, oh. Good, good, good. Why'd you say? You check if you're what? You check if your sis is up to date? I'm not really sure what SYS means. That's a joke that went beyond my head. Is my but it's SYS up to date. What about what is that reference? Is your sister up to date? What the fuck does that mean? Is your sister up? Cause like obviously Ishika defaulting into I do is supposed to be the funny punchline to the question that Arachi asked, but I don't understand. Is your sister up to date? Is your system up to date? I'm not sure. Lost in translation, Japanese language barrier. GG. Uh, uh, <laughs> like, <laughs> is your sis up to date? I do. <laughs> you wanna fuck your sister? <laughs> gotcha. Fuck you, Arachi. <laughs> mm-hmm. Nah, dude, none of that shit matters. She just wants that one person, and it's you, you lucky motherfucker. Come on. Ugh. Like you. Hold up, hold up, hold up. So, like, this is the manga that Yamada gave, right? That we're reading right now. And who is this guy? Distant and Kurt. He is kind of distant, right? He is kind of distant. He is nice under the surface. He is awkward. He is literally him! Motherfucker, that's you! It's you! Yeah, 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 he doesn't see the charming part, right? It's hard for him to realize that he's charming. Right? But like, it's you, dude! All those qualities is low-key you! Even the girl in the manga looks like Yamada. <laughs> You're the gloomy guy! <laughs> he's, he's so unaware that, like, you're basically him. And he's like, yo, this guy sucks. I agree. This guy does suck. Goddamn. Now you know how I feel watching this goddamn show. <laughs> They hang out in the library too? <laughs> this is... Great moments. Yo, that was crazy. She straight up hugged that bag. I thought she was like, ho like holding him back. She straight up just went like this to it, man. 
My man, it's real. It's the real thing. Huh. I never said I didn't. And again, the whole... Uh, I get it, right? I understand that this fucking stupid 15, 14 year old kid is just worried that this blind hope is going to give him hope. And then if it's wrong, then he's going to get destroyed. I would have acted just the same. 13? They're 13? Jesus fucking Christ, they're young. I think something has to be mentioned about... I, I, I think a lot of people, like, if you don't understand that they're middle school kids, like, suddenly I'm realizing that in rom-com, there is a significant difference between high school rom-com and middle school rom-com. Middle school rom-com, like, again, they're like 13-year-old kids, 12, 13, 14-year-old kids, right? Like, it's a totally different game because they're, they're, their brains are barely fucking working and they're trying to figure shit out. It's, it's definitely more... I don't know if wholesome is the right way to say it, but like rom-com, uh, you know, middle school rom-com for sure. I think it's a different meta than high school rom-com. <laughs> oh, speak of the devil, man, just, we just mentioned in today's episode after not seeing it for like eight, god damn. うちに<笑><笑> Just friends or romantic? Is he actually collecting a harm? She might. Like, she might. <laughs> oh, come on, you fall so easy, girl! That was way too easy. Yamada loyal. She upset. I'm not going there. You don't know that. You don't know that. It might be actually fun. Um, I, I mean, yeah, Chihiro definitely is the bait. I think this situation is correct, right? The senpai probably was like, shit, it's hard to get Yamada. She's the main one. But if you're, you know, if your friend comes along, then it's less pressure because you're not alone. But I think Yamada's upset because, like, you know, she doesn't want to go with that guy. She wants to be loyal to each other. どの先輩さ、なんかあれだ。悪口下手だな。人の悪口言う子じゃないでしょ。もういい。私は知らない。ヘルディオリチカ。ライブリーデイ。お、シークライン。ち、ワシリーディング。本格的に何杯の殺し
I'm single for each color. <laughs> why are you telling him? I know why you're telling him. <laughs> These girls are the ones that ask the question, but just like, I don't have a boyfriend. Seriously, I'm single, by the way. Mm. Mm. You get it? You get it? She got it. She, she faster than I thought. Okay, she got it immediately. Want to go out? Never gonna happen. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? In front of Senpai? Did Yamada see Senpai coming in with their peripheral vision and then made a move on Ichikawa to make it be like, this is mine, leave me alone? Is that what's going on here? Senpai gave up. He gave up. Yeah, you're never gonna figure this shit out. I don't expect you to figure this shit out. Keep fucking questioning yourself, you lucky motherfucker. No, no, no. That is the entire point. She wants to give people that idea, though. Especially to Senpai there. Oh, no. Oh, no. Better her know now. What? That guy's a real creep. And then Moiko said, No idiot. That's what's great about it. What? Well, Moiko kind of freaky. <laughs> she liked that treatment. What the fuck? I mean, she found us weird and she finds the senpai creepy, but it's like, yeah, that's the best part. <laughs> oh, <fuck? laughs> no, you didn't. No, you didn't. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. <laughs> You know, I'm surprised we haven't been on the rooftop yet. The rooftop sunset is the perf one of the most common used maps in rom-coms, man. Like, the rooftop is a special place we have yet to visit there. No. <laughs> Ignored. <laughs> Big stupid she diet. <gasps> they were kind of fighting, right? Alright, the couple is back together. Senpai! Yo, what's up? It would be really cool if Senpai was like... You know what, kid? Not so bad. You, you got that dog in you. Alright, I'll, I'll root for you. If Senpai was like a... Not a sore loser and was like, you know what? Like, shit, you and Yamada? Really? You hitting that? Alright! No answer. I think he does! Maybe he feels too pain. Maybe it was like, damn, I really got cucked by this kid and it feels like, damn, I can't face him right now. Who knows what Senpai's thinking. She was using you, yes? And that she used that situation to make a point at the Senpai, but like her feelings was not fake. You can't take a fucking hit either, bro. Neither of you fucking can take a hit, but like, you're the one that she's not trying to shake off. <laughs> All nine episodes of progression has come undone because she was using him the entire time. It's his mindset. GG. Come on, bro! Nah, I'm not gonna give up so quick. Nah, nah, nah. All that progress. Listen, have you ever seen a movie? What is the structure of a movie, right? In the beginning, it's all fun and games and some shit happens. And then at a certain point, things go really bad. At some point, things get really bad. Because if there's no conflict, then there's no fun. But eventually, 
they come back, and it's a happy ending. I think right now is one of those moments where it's just like they're creating this scenario where it looks like he just gave up on everything. But in fact, I think something big is about to happen. Oh, he's soon. Oh, that was cold. Oh! Yeah, he back to the edgy mode. He reading the murder book. He ignored her right there. This is a dangerous play. But, like, it may actually work out. Because a cold treatment is going to make her jealous. It's going to... Because, like, it depends. But I think Yana's the type of girl where this cold treatment may actually work in her. Like, our favor, and she's gonna be like, what's going on? Like, come on, she's gonna like, chase him even more. <laughs> wow, he just completely gave up! That feels so bad! Oh, this is so relatable. I did this shit, too. I did this shit. When I was, like, 14. Like, grade 8, grade 9. There's a girl named Maddie Newitz. God damn, she was so hot. She's, like, the most popular girl. But there's no way she into me. She's hanging out with all the popular guys! And, all, and we talk every day! And one day I was like... Nope. <laughs> gonna act like you don't exist. Not even gonna wish you a happy birthday! I did. I folded. At the end of the school day, but like... <laughs> I did this shit! I did this shit! It's so relatable! Fun fact, the girl did not chase me, though. <laughs> Listen, the situation was cooked. It was an unsalvageable moment, okay? It was friend zone and it was done, okay? <laughs> Yamada did not chase me. It was a GG, okay? And then she switched schools. Now she's chasing him so fast. <laughs> oh! Damn! Wallbang technique! Why? <laughs> Yeah, don't want to seem a little too close. No, no. No! You motherfucker, it's all about you ignoring her! Oh. You made her cry! This is fucked up, man. Is this tissue the same shit that we set up before in the earlier episodes? Is it? Or is it in the library? Oh my gosh, she's even using that right in the cr- Oh my fucking god, oh. This is fucked up. Is it obvious? Do you get it? Do you? You better fucking apologize. Why'd she drop it? Is he, is he hugging her from behind? Wait, 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 wait. Something happened here and then she dropped this. Something happened here. What happened? I heard arms wrapping around. Even the Smitch, the Nintendo DS lore, it was hard to come by, so he decided to not get it. No, you just stupid. <gasps> <laughs> I'm surprised Karte isn't showing up right now. Karte. Nine. I. And then they'll slowly show the fucking episode title word by word. And there's the sunlight. Oh! That was a huge move! No one's watching right now, right? <laughs> Would have been awkward if someone's watching. <laughs> That's you. That's you. Okay. Man, if only someone witnessed this, like, if only, like, fucking senpai or some shit was like, damn it, the motherfucker really has game. Never ate natto. 40? It's fine. Opposites attract. 
It's not Nato. It's not talking to you, bro. Christmas. Don't know what that is. The 24th? Christmas Eve? The manga. I read that shit. When they both write in the margins of their notebook. Very romantic, I guess, for a school setting. You think they're gonna do that shit together? Yeah, I'm just gonna make a mental note of that. You said you like the shit in the beginning. You, you think she's lying here? Like, oh, 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 yeah, I like that too. <gasps> I can't, I can't tell if Yamada is just lying right now just to be relatable to Iska. But okay, okay. What's that? I'll bring the next one on Mun. <gasps> What's Monday? Is it Christmas? And then she was like, nothing. I'll bring the next one on Monday. The same sentence was completed. I'll bring the next one on Monday. Huh? <gasps> nothing. I'll bring the next one on Monday. The excuse that she needed? That was an excuse to give her the book? I'm a little bit confused here because she still emptied the fucking chamber with it afterwards and she didn't, you know, say that. Okay. Bye bye. That's my oh. bike. What? Is she taking our bike? Is she actually taking the fucking bike home right now? Bye bye! Oh. She got so caught up in having fun that she's taking yeah, the yeah, bike. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't mind. I'm surprised that like, you don't have a girl. Adachi and her? What do you think? Adachi and Moiko? Or Adachi and the cool delinquent like type girl? This girl, I mean. Adachi and her, maybe? I don't know. She's getting super desperate for her. What about Hara and, uh, what's his name? She... Kanzaki. Hope they're doing still well. Don't mind. I see. Oh, oops. Forgot. Oh, oh, yeah, there's one to break. Oh, the only way that I can give it to you is if I come over. Date or a date? What? <laughs> that there's not even a cliffhanger. What if she's just making this shit up just to make sure that each guy wants to fucking read it? But here it is, Carte 9. What's the title? Line. Hate Yamada. Oh, you don't. <laughs> Finally. Wait, was her hand shaking too? Wait, wait, no, no. Each cow's in the bottom. Yamada's on top, which is pretty funny symbolically too. But like, she is the top. Like, each cow. Yeah, each cow's getting thrown around by Yamada, bro. His hand's like fucking shaking. Oh, imagery of a fucking plane, yo. Ain't this shit like what happens? Like, I swear, there was that one uh, rom com anime. It was the girl I like, like, forgot her glasses at home or some shit. Dude, that, that, that anime, there was this episode where every time the guy thought something good was happening with the girl, an airplane scene would fucking happen every time. So, like, this right now, what you see, just like a, like a fucking airplane across the sky, is supposed to represent, like, what? Fucking <laughs> rising of the dick? No, everything's going good. I'm not sure what it's supposed to symbolize, but they have that a lot. When will she call him Kyo instead of Ichika, bro? And that's the fucking thing that's really annoying about anime is because like I have to fucking memorize these last names because they usually go by last names, but sometimes they pivot to first name. And now I gotta memorize the first name. Then I have to make note of like, oh shit, is this person referring to? And it's only specific characters call this person by their first name, but to everyone else it's the last name. Everything gets all fucking fucked up. <laughs> Kill means today? 
Okay, okay. Christmas Eve, baby. Ah. What's this text? Ah. 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 <laughs> they just like... They don't know what to say to each other. <laughs> so they just fucking... Ah. Ah. <laughs> I would because you said something instead of ah the entire time. Because you sent a normal text. Got it. Tomorrow by Hachiko and Shibuya. How's 2 p.m. sad? Oh lord. It's the Shibuya incident. Someone let them know now's not the time to go there. <laughs> Oyasumi. Oyasumi. Oh, that is another episode of Dangers in My Heart and God damn. Just when I thought everything was over, with each car fucking rationalizing in his head that, oh, she must be using me. What did he do? Gave her the cold treatment. And sometimes it works. If you're the main character in the rom-com, it works. If you're me, it does not work. She'll just fucking change schools and you'll never talk again. But, but hey, it worked. And, you know, she was crying and he felt bad. But at the end of the day, we exchanged lines. Everything's better than before. And like the manga, like the protagonist of the manga is literally you, bro. But like, he just can't realize that, right? But with this date coming up next episode, I hope something significant happens. And it's not even the finale just yet. And I'm also kind of invested in, in uh, Moiko because like Moiko's so desperate to get a boyfriend before Christmas. I wonder if she would be desperate enough to settle for fucking Adachi, man. And I'm also excited to see what Hara and, you know, Kanzaki are up to, but that's it for me. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video, check out the other playlists for more content, and until next time, take care.